Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Video number two for today. We are going to be playing Sukiyomi, and the reason we're playing Sukiyomi... Oh, look at that, another on her. The reason we're playing Sukiyomi is because I did this <clears throat> in the Try Hard Thursday video and near the ending of it, um, but a lot of people didn't actually see it because a lot of people don't actually uh, finish out the whole Try Hard Thursday video because, I mean, it makes sense, let's be honest. It's an hour and... I think that 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 video was an hour and 20 minutes long, so it makes sense that people didn't completely finish it out, right? But um, I only showed this off in the last 10 minutes of that video, so I'm going to dedicate a whole video to it now that Sphinx's Bobble is back in the game. So let me just go ahead and explain right now what we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to be doing pretty much the same build as we did in that Fenrir game. Where I'm, but uh, the difference is that I'm going blue zone instead of Boombas because I don't actually need the auto attack, uh, which I I know immediately sounds <laughs> pretty absurd. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go Jotuns, I'm gonna go Breastplate, and then I'm gonna go Sphinx's Bobble, and then I'm gonna pick up a blue buff or go Hydras. You know that's that's pretty much the build. And um, once you have 60% cooldown, this one is reduced to a 4.8 second cooldown. Now, a 4.8 second cooldown with the global cooldown being one second, meaning you can't use abilities within one second of each other. There is a global cooldown um, being one second. And the cooldown reduction of picking up being four seconds mean that there is a 0.2 second overlap in cooldown, meaning you literally never even see the cooldown go black and need... Why would you hit me? You, you, this is not how you win this game. Meaning you literally never see your one going cooldown the entire time. It just looks like, uh, I guess it's like I'm glitching the game, which I guess I'm not, but it does definitely look like it. That was close. Hello, enemy. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, well, Sam, yeah, I mean, I know you can pick it up and use it again. I understand that part. But what makes it so good? Well, what makes it so good is that it's a 25% slow. No, not, not a slow, I'm sorry. It's a 25% steal, which is a 50% movement speed difference. I steal 25% of theirs and gain 25% of mine. That's what a steal does. So uh, I'm not just slowing him i in fact i'm doing i'm just so 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 fast you don't have anything up right i can just body block you and there's nothing you can do about it so i'm gonna be able to use my one steal 25 percent of his movement speed and gain 25 percent as well well just sitting there and spamming my one over and 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 over now i know that with today's first video being Fenrir and the most broken strat in duel, which I still fully believe, um, that this makes it seem like, well, maybe Sphinx's Bobble shouldn't be in the game. I disagree. I actually think Sphinx's Bobble is a very, very fun uh, item. And while, yes, it leads to some absolutely insane interactions, and it might need to be tweaked a little bit, I still think it's a good addition to the, like, the Smite in general. Because it's fun. You know? It's just fun. And Smite needs more fun. Every game needs more fun, let's be honest. Alright, but I got red buff, I got blue buff, I got the XP camp, and I got a kill. I'm about to get this blue buff as well. What is your first item? Leather Cal into Transcendence. So you are going to be doing a lot of damage once you finish that Transcendence, which I assume is going to be really soon. Because you, it's not like you're you're gulping down some potions. Hello, enemy man. I do way more damage than you could ever dream of. Oh my gosh. Wait, he just went... He went Thorn's first item, huh? For first relic. That's probably not the greatest play. They won't land 
Jeez. I hope he doesn't surrender. I did just kill him twice in three minutes, though, with a uh, 1,100 gold lead and a two-level lead. Maybe I should slow it down a bit if I don't want him to surrender. It's all right. If he surrenders, we just go again. We just go again. Can I have this? Yes, I can. I'm gonna go get the XP camp again. Clear the wave. I missed my one. Oh god. I guess that is something that I didn't even think about with Sphinx's bobble is if you miss any of your ones, it's no longer as good as it used to be, right? Like <laughs> you have to be, you do have to be a hundred percent accurate with your ones. It's not that hard because <clears throat> I mean, Suk's one is massive, but okay. I definitely could have altered and killed him, but I don't want him to surrender. So I'm going to not do that. I want to, I want to be able to show the meme off. This game is not about competitiveness. This game is not about losing or winning. It's just about showing off the meme, the 60% won. Now he's got 4,100 gold. So he's definitely got his transcendence. He's probably getting a tier two defensive item right now as well. I completely lied. He only got transcendence and no defensive items. What happened to your, your gold? Starter item is what, 700, right? Yeah, it's 700. You you should have an extra 800 gold right now. Am I wrong? Because Transcendence is 2,800. Leather Cal is 700. It puts him at 3,500. Let's say he spent 300 on pots, whatever. He should still have a shit ton of gold. You're just not buying items? Ow. I actually think I'll die if I ult him. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Can I kill him? With only Yoten's Wrath? I don't know if my ult does that much damage. I guess if I hit all four, like, spikies. I guess it probably would have killed. But then again, there's always a chance it doesn't. Ow. Oh, I should go Soul Eater next. Well, I need to go Sphinx's Bobble because I'm already over capping cooldown, so. What's my... Yeah, so if I pick up my one right now, it's on a three-second cooldown. God, I can't wait to show you guys this. Why are you so greedy? This player is incredibly greedy. He's me in an alternate timeline. I'm 2k gold ahead, by the way. And three levels up. I need to get a beads. Hello. Ow. I need to get a beads so that I can... Uh, Keep my aggression on him. Oh, wow. The heck, dude? How much is Bobble? 27. Oh, hello. Nice. Big kill, big kill. 
All right, Sphinx is bobble online, boys. An implement worthy of online. And technically 60% cooldown because I do have the uh, the blue buff. So as you can see, it is 4.8 seconds. Global cooldown being one second. And the, the cooldown reduction from picking up the, the one is four seconds. So it's time for the meme to come alive. We just walk up. We don't be scared of anything he does. He's running away. He jumped. He jumped. He jumped. Hold on. I can't, I can't get to him. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, give me the fucking... I missed. God damn it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, fuck. Okay, look. Maybe... Maybe tanking the Phoenix to show that off wasn't the best play I've ever had. But you understand, right? Like, you... But you saw it. You can just spam the one over and over and over and over again. And not to mention, you can do this thing, which is when you hit an enemy god with an ability, you get a stack of wit, which lowers the cooldown of your other abilities. So let's say you're actually fighting and you're not just spamming the one. Don't know why you would do that, but let's just say you are. Um, your one stacks that wit thing for you. No shot you're doing my red buff. No shot. You just did my red buff. Ah, I... I only have 50% cooldown because he killed me and my fucking blue buff went away. Darn it. I gotta finish my soul eater now. Dude, I love... I love Sphinx Bobble builds. They're so much fun. Like, it's crazy because every game feels like a match of the day. Except without like the shitty, the shitty, like everybody in the game is doing it. I mean, I guess technically everybody in the game could be doing it, but like in duel, only I'm doing it because I'm the only one stupid enough to buy this item and lower my damage and healing, I suppose. How much is a soul eater? 15? Yeah. What do you want? I couldn't pick it up. All right, let's go get my soul leader. I'll start stacking that bad boy up. That's going to instantly give me 60% cooldown. So now I am capped up even without blue buff. My MP5 is actually quite high. My last item is probably just going to be like a beat stick. Like just a little bit more damage. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a close fight. That was a close fight. And I hit him with my one six times. <laughs> oh man. I love this shit, dude. I have too much fun with it. I have far too much fun with it. Can I even get this Phoenix? Ow. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh my god dude okay okay <laughs> oh it's insane man 
Especially, by the way, you can do this in jungle on conquest, and the, their carries are not going to have defense. Like they're not going to be double life steal with leather Kalinasi and have defense and thirty percent cooldown. So it's just going to be even better when you're not in duel. It's it's just so good, man. It's so good. Don't tell me you did this red buff again. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, never mind. You're so fast. Watch your step. All right. I guess I should probably try to win the game, though. Because people don't like watching L's. By the way, that comment the other day. I think it was yesterday, actually. About why don't I post any L's. Um, <clears throat> what else? I repeat. Last time I lost a duel game, I was pretty sure it was like 07. You know, just saying. Just saying. Um, let's see. All right, I got beat stick now. He did get heavy executioner, which is going to hurt me. But that's all right. Good old Smackarooski. I'm just trying to get my soul leader stacks up, bro. Hey, kill five of my minions, please. Hey, big shouts, big shouts, big shouts. Thank you. There we go, there we go. Oh my god! <laughs> I hit him with my 111 times during that fight, dude. Oh my god, there's no way. Dude. I... I fucking love this build. I love this build. My one hit him for almost 2,000 damage by itself during that fight. <laughs> by the way, every time I hit him with my one, it procked my blue stone too, which was just ridiculous. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. GG, my guy. Uh, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.